Haiti, a nation grappling with poverty and instability, received unexpected news in early 2024. Geologists confirmed significant deposits of iridium, a precious metal rarer than gold within its borders. This discovery sparked excitement and hope. Could iridium be the key to Haiti's long-awaited economic revival? Could this rare resource lift the nation from its struggles? The excitement is understandable. Iridium, valued for its strength and resistance to corrosion, is crucial in various industries. It finds applications in electronics, aerospace and even medicine. The global demand for iridium is constantly growing, making its discovery in Haiti potentially transformative. However, alongside the euphoria, cautious voices emphasize the need for responsible management. The potential benefits of Haiti's iridium rush are enormous. The influx of revenue from iridium mining could boost the national economy, providing much-needed funds for infrastructure development, education and healthcare. Thousands of new jobs could be created, offering opportunities for Haitians to improve their livelihoods. Yet the road ahead is fraught with challenges that require careful navigation. Iridium is not your average metal. Its origins are extraterrestrial, traced back to asteroid impacts billions of years ago. These celestial events scattered iridium across the planet, albeit in minuscule amounts. Iridium is incredibly dense and has an exceptionally high melting point, making it ideal for specialized applications. Its scarcity contributes to its high value, exceeding even that of gold. The demand for iridium is driven by its use in crucial technologies. It is a key component in spark plugs, electrodes and crucibles used in high temperature industrial processes. Iridium's resistance to corrosion makes it invaluable in aerospace components and medical implants. Iridium's unique properties have made it indispensable in various fields. For instance, it plays a vital role in the production of LCD screens and solar panels. Its growing use in catalytic converters for automobiles further fuels the demand for this precious metal. The discovery of substantial iridium deposits in Haiti, therefore, has significant implications for the global market. Haiti's economy has long been characterized by poverty and underdevelopment. The nation's GDP remains one of the lowest in the Western Hemisphere. The iridium discovery offers a glimmer of hope, a potential turning point in Haiti's economic trajectory. Revenue from iridium mining could be substantial, providing the government with resources to invest in critical areas. These investments could target infrastructure development, improving roads, bridges and communication networks. This would facilitate trade and economic activity, creating a more conducive environment for businesses to thrive. Moreover, the government could allocate funds towards improving education and healthcare, empowering citizens and building a healthier and more skilled workforce. The influx of foreign investment in the mining sector could further stimulate economic growth. This would create a ripple effect, generating opportunities in related industries such as transportation, logistics and manufacturing. The overall impact on Haiti's economy could be transformative, potentially lifting millions out of poverty and setting the nation on a path towards sustainable development. Iridium mining in Haiti has the potential to create thousands of new jobs, directly and indirectly. This would provide much-needed employment opportunities for Haitians, many of whom struggle to find decent work. Mining operations require a diverse workforce, ranging from skilled engineers and geologists to laborers and support staff. The establishment of mining companies in Haiti would also create a demand for ancillary services. Transportation companies would be needed to transport equipment and extracted iridium. Construction firms would be involved in building the infrastructure for mining operations. These ripple effects would generate numerous employment opportunities in various sectors, boosting the overall economy. The availability of jobs would not only improve the livelihoods of individuals, but also empower communities. Increased income would enable families to afford better health care, education and housing. This would contribute to social upliftment and create a more prosperous and equitable society in Haiti. While the economic benefits of iridium mining are undeniable, it is essential to acknowledge the potential environmental impacts. Mining operations can be disruptive to ecosystems, causing deforestation and habitat loss. The extraction process often involves the use of heavy machinery and chemicals that can contaminate water sources and soil. 
Responsible environmental management is crucial to mitigate these risks. Strict regulations must be implemented to ensure that mining companies adhere to sustainable practices. This includes minimizing deforestation, implementing robust waste management systems, and monitoring water and air quality to prevent pollution. Rehabilitation efforts should be an integral part of mining operations. Companies should be mandated to restore mined areas to their original state after the extraction process is complete. This would involve reforestation, soil remediation and the creation of habitats for displaced wildlife. By prioritizing environmental sustainability, Haiti can reap the benefits of iridium mining while minimizing its ecological footprint. Large-scale mining operations can sometimes lead to the displacement of local communities. This occurs when mining sites overlap with residential areas or agricultural lands. Displacement can have devastating consequences for families and communities, disrupting their livelihoods and social structures. It is essential to prioritize the rights and well-being of local communities. Mining companies should engage in meaningful consultations with affected populations ensuring their concerns are heard and addressed. Compensation for displaced families should be fair and adequate, enabling them to relocate and rebuild their lives. The government should play a proactive role in protecting vulnerable communities. This includes establishing clear guidelines for resettlement, providing legal aid to displaced families, and monitoring the social impact of mining operations. By prioritizing the welfare of its citizens, Haiti can ensure that iridium mining is a force for good, not a source of hardship. Sustainable mining practices are paramount to ensure that Haiti benefits from its iridium resources without compromising its environment or social fabric. This involves adopting a holistic approach that balances economic development with environmental protection and social responsibility. Mining companies must prioritize responsible land management, minimizing deforestation and implementing robust environmental safeguards. They should invest in technologies that reduce waste and pollution, ensuring that mining operations have a minimal impact on surrounding ecosystems. Furthermore, companies should prioritize the well-being of their workforce, providing safe working conditions, fair wages and opportunities for professional development. Engaging with local communities and contributing to their social and economic development is also crucial. By embracing sustainable practices, Haiti can establish a mining industry that benefits both present and future generations. The success of Haiti's Iridium Rush hinges on good governance. Transparent and accountable institutions are essential to ensure that the benefits of mining are shared equitably and that the industry operates responsibly. This requires strong regulations, effective enforcement and a commitment to ethical conduct. The government must establish a clear legal framework that governs mining operations, ensuring environmental protection, social responsibility and fair revenue sharing. Corruption must be tackled decisively, ensuring that the wealth generated from Iridium benefits the nation as a whole, not just a select few. Investing in education and training programs is crucial to equip Haitians with the skills needed to participate in the mining industry. This will enable them to access higher paying jobs and contribute to the sector's growth. By fostering good governance, Haiti can harness its iridium resources to create a more prosperous and equitable future for all its citizens.